And today I'm going to talk about how to uh, image a laptop. So what imaging is, is we have a custom version of Windows 10 uh, located on SGC Server 1 and this is required um, whenever we are installing uh, a new PC or doing up an old one uh, as it is um, it, it has all the details on how to join the server and the domain and all the software we need and everything so all the programs will be activated uh, office windows uh, eset everything will come pre-installed so first what you'll want to do uh, is power on the machine uh, and uh, obviously you'll need to do that and <laughs> um, so you need to power on the machine then the next thing you'll want to do is a uh, network boot so um, if you're trying to image one of the new uh, staff laptops, one of the uh, Lenovo ThinkPads, you will need to use a USB stick, um, which I will uh, do another day, show you how to do. Um, but the process is very similar. So for a network boot, you'll need to um, press F12. So this will start the laptop into searching for the network. So you'll need to have an Ethernet lead plugged into the machine. Uh, and it will prompt you a few times to press F12. So once you, it shows you that it's attempting to do it, a thing will come up at the bottom of the screen and will let you know that it is trying to boot from the server. Um, once it has uh, booted off the server, it will ask for um, credentials that will let you sign in. So the first thing that will come up it'll say admin and then underneath it um, is a blank box for the password so if you put in the uh, main server the server admin instead of SGC admin uh, it'll uh, allow you to image it will then prompt uh, you to choose between two versions of Windows uh, x86 and x64 you must select x64 as the x86 does not lead anywhere or do anything. Um, so once you select this, the machine will uh, essentially go on autopilot and image all the way through until um, selecting programs and all that. So it'll prompt you for um, a name of the machine and uh, details of what you of what the machine will be identified as so name um, and other other things it'll then prompt for another um, another window that has loads of programs on it all you have to do is press next and keep selecting next until it eventually installs programs yeah so the first is Cura which will um, ask you for um, the the window prompt will hide behind the uh, command prompt window. So what you need to do is move the command prompt window out of the way so that you can access the installer uh, and just walk it through. So you'll just keep pressing yes until it comes to a device driver. A, a sm another smaller window will show up with the device driver for an Arduino. So you won't want to press install. Then after that um, another window will pop up that will ask you to run Cura. What you need to do is press is untick run Cura, uh, as otherwise if Cura begins to run it will completely mess up the um, uh, installation and you'll have to begin again. After this um, another, a few other programs will install and then Genie um, will begin to install itself and you need to, it's either Genie or 2D Design, one of them. Um, it'll this will hide behind the command prompt window again, but this time it won't give you any prompts as to that it's there. So you'll need to move the window out of the way um, and keep pressing yes to whatever it asks you, um, and then you'll be done. So once it's done then, the computer will have finished imaging, um, you, it'll prompt you to log in. Um, so sign in as SGC admin and let everything activate and all that and then you'll be done.